shaking, body bouncing, shaking, where you really feel your whole body shake, 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 shake. Life can be super, super stressful sometimes, and stress is, I think, the number one libido killer. So address the stress that you're having in your life and find healthy ways to release that stress, whatever that be for you, whether it's you know breathing techniques or meditation or yoga, or maybe it's like getting into the gym and like, you know, getting in the punching bag for a while or, you know, lifting weights and doing something really active and vigorous to like kind of just release that stress. But I think the less stress you can have in your life, the more likely you are to invite that pleasure and to bring your libido back. Beyond everything, your health is what will increase your libido. And yeah, if your partner's going through something and they're not feeling sexual, you're most likely not going to feel sexual either. It's kind of like a, a collaborative thing. Like energy. Your, yeah, you and your partner's energy is what's really going to affect your libido in that moment. So Eat, sleep, healthy, living styles and find someone you're sexually compatible with and then you'll be horny all the time. <laughs> I think exercise, diet, um, water uh, play a big role, but um, perhaps again, little, little steps towards um, building that tension. Um, and I think that can condition your mind to perhaps um, want sex more, crave sex more. I get more horny the more I allow myself to indulge. So masturbating is a great way to increase libido, in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure it's different for everybody, um, but I feel like the more I use it, the more I get in touch with myself, the more I explore on my own, just the higher my sex drive gets. You can increase your sexual desire by fantasizing, by touching yourself, by doing anything that gets you in the mood physically first and then the desire for sex follows. So it might be role play, it might be dirty talk, it might be talking about sex, it might be mindful masturbation, it might just be mindful visualization and breathing, it might be having intimate conversations with a partner. There's no surefire path to sexual desire. You have to figure out what works for you. You know what? I am a strong believer in that if you do not use it, you will lose it. So I actually took a break from cam for a few months and I really wasn't masturbating too much. And then I noticed when I got back, I was like, I was like, ah, oh, am I getting older and like kind of going, you know, things are going south down there. But after I kind of got more into the rhythm of doing two shows every day again, um, I, I have a, a tough time getting it down. There are some Tantra practices that I've read about that uh, address increasing libido. One of them is um, for, for, for men or people with testicles. Shaking, body bouncing, shaking, where you really feel your whole body shake, 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 shake. Do this for quite a few minutes at a time, five to 10 minutes, something like that. And uh, that's apparently one technique for increasing your libido. Be kind and have a good relationship with yourself as a sexual being. A lot of times I have people who come in and they're like, Steve, I'm ashamed of being horny. I'm ashamed of wanting to go and ask this girl out on a date, ask this guy on a date. It's like, well, let's accept ourselves as human, accept ourselves as sexual beings, come to terms with that. And then I think you'll feel a little bit more libido once we have all that shame and guilt out of there. Engaging in healthy habits. Uh, again, like if you're tired and you're, you know, you're exhausted, your sex drive is going to be affected. I don't care what you do, unless you start using some form of stimulants. I, <laughs> I recently started taking a supplement that uh, I didn't really believe it, but I kind of want to try. It's called Tangat Ali. Tangat Ali. Um, it was recommended to me from another male performer. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it, let's uh, let's give it a try. Holy moly! Just reading the reviews for the product, or through the, it was 50, 60, 70 year old men saying, I haven't had a 
boner in a decade, and now I'm my wife every day of the week. If if you're in the, if you were the right people, chocolate and mushrooms. The really good mushrooms. To increase your libido. Mm -hmm. For drugs. That's a natural fungus. Okay. Don't let them know it's natural. Not everybody knows that. Oh. 